Hi guys, today we are reviewing the best cheap 3D printers under $500. You can check out the description section below to find the links of the products featuring in this video. Anycubic have made a name for themselves for making fantastic low-cost printers for resin printing, but have also made a great budget 3D printer for FDM. The Mega S is solid, with a strong metal frame for stable and smooth 3D printing, and a good build volume for printing most hobbyist projects. Beginners will enjoy how easy to put together, and get started the Mega S is, with just a few screws and cables to assemble, and then you're ready to print. If you are prone to power outages, have no fear, the Mega S can resume from where it left off, so you'll never be left with a half-finished print. It's a basic 3D printer with a lot of useful extras, including Anycubic's patented Alter Base print bed material, that not only promotes good print adhesion for strong prints, but also makes it super easy to remove your finished models afterwards. Overall, considering it's a 3D printer under $300 it's a very impressive cheap 3D printer, offering good reliability and stability. The Elegumars 2 Pro Mono 3D printer simply shouldn't be as good as it is for such a low price. Thank LCD 3D printing, the innovative new resin printing technology that allows you to get the precision of slot at FDM prices, which the Elegumars range does wonderfully. As for accuracy, the minimum's eye accuracy you can achieve with the Elegumars is 47 microns very precise. It's got a 2K LCD projector and comes with Chichibok slicer built especially for resin printing. Overall, it's a fantastic printer for such little investment, an almost unthinkably cheap price for a resin printer, and good 120 into 68 into 155 mm build volume. Just when we thought LCD 3D printing couldn't get any more affordable, Anycubic have done it again. One of the cheapest and most popular resin 3D printers in the world, the Photon Mono features a number of upgrades over previous Photon iterations. Firstly, the upgraded dual Z-axis slider notably improves Z-axis stability, making layer lines even harder to spot and creating smoother surface finishes. It's also quieter, so you won't have problems running it at night. The Photon Mono is simple to get started, coming fully assembled, and without too much to do to get it ready to print. Despite the low price, it prints faster than previous Photon models, at up to 50mm per hour. Therefore, if you're looking for a good value 3D printer for miniatures, DMD models or other small prints, any cubic Photon Mono is a good option. Creality makes some of the world's most popular low-cost 3D printers, including the CR10, Ender 5 and Ender 3 range. The Ender 3 is cheaper than the CR10, and has a smaller maximum build volume of 220 into 220 into 250 mm, but there are many similarities in design and print quality. The upgraded Ender 3 V2 is not too dissimilar from the hugely popular original. For $60 extra you get an improved carborundum glass bed for better print adhesion and print quality, and this bed also makes removing prints easier, lessening the chances of damaging the model during removal. The new HD screen is also a nice touch, and a pleasant extra to have. And if you would rather save the $60 and get a standard Ender 3, you can do that too. For most makers looking to buy a cheap 3D printer, you want reliable, adequate printing on a machine that doesn't give you a headache with its constant errors and faults. The Ender 3 V2 certainly fits the bill, with good quality printing that can generally be relied upon. It's also versatile, with a number of Ender 3 upgrades available, and the printer itself has had its 3D printer extruder improved, so it doesn't clog as much, for a less stressful 3D printing experience. There's a reason why it's currently the best-selling 3D printer in the world. Monoprice have released some of the best 3D printers under $1,000 in recent years. Their current model, the Monoprice Voxel, features a removable print bed and closed chamber for more effective ABS 3D printing. Moreover, the printer is capable of up to 50 micron layer heights, very precise for the price. Being a small desktop 3D printer, the Monoprice Voxel can't print massive parts, though for under $500 you can't expect the world. With printing dimensions of up to 150 x 150 x 150 mm, this should be enough for most makers who aren't creating anything huge, and is perfect as a 3D printer for miniatures in ABS or PLA. All this makes the Monoprice Voxel a pretty solid low-cost 3D printer. Thank you for watching so far, and we hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more reviews. 
please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time.